What is going on there, agents? How you doing? My name is Pone. Welcome to the channel. If you guys enjoy division content, be sure to click that subscribe button. That way you can fast travel back here anytime you need. So, ladies and gentlemen, our prayers have been answered. We knew that crafting being nerfed was not going to be the end result. They have announced they are guaranteeing a high end drop for every named NPC. I have some problems with this, but I'll talk about those in a minute. On paper, that seems phenomenal. Everybody's like, yay, rejoice. Killing a named NPC will grant you a guaranteed high-end drop. That's right, you will now always get a high-end item from killing a named NPC of level 30 plus. The gear score of said high-end will be determined by the level of the NPC. For example, a level 30 named will now guarantee a gear score 163 high-end, and it will scale depending on the 31, 32, and so forth. We will also increase the drop rates of Division Tech materials to 40% on level 32 named enemies in the Dark Zone. Meaning, if you're in DZ05 or DZ06 killing the named guys, Every other one is going to drop you a high-end D-Tech, which is great because that was a really, really nasty bottleneck inside the game. So many people were just waiting to craft and couldn't because of that problem. The two things they were trying to change with this, I think they kind of slipped on. One of which is they were trying to increase the fun factor by adding RNG into the mix. When things drop, you feel rewarded by them. They feel awesome when you get it. There's intensity there. You want to extract it. But when they're a promised item... It's really no different than crafting. Think about it for a second. You do an action, whether or not it's killing a guy and instantly getting a reward, or killing a guy and getting a material, then traveling to a workbench and making that reward. Nonetheless, you get a promise drop. They also go on to say that specific named NPCs have higher chances of dropping specific items. For those that may have done the Russian consulate, he dropped like attachments, mods, and primarily marksman weapons. So you're going to be able to target specific things that you're looking for too, which is still going to kind of make it a lot like crafting. Without RNG being there, without a chance of failure, there is no thrill. There is no hoping for better because you know it's a sure thing. So it kind of contradicts what they're trying to fix and what they're doing here. And that takes me over to the second target of this patch and update, and that is crafting. Now, I'm going to tell you right off the bat, I'll give you the numbers so you can understand it, but crafting right now is going to be just as easy when the 1.1 update hits, and I'll break it down. So, as it stands, if you have a full entire stash of 30 items of purples or blues, you get two of them for every one you deconstruct, meaning 60 blue materials. From here, it takes five of them to make one high-end. So, an entire stash of blues and purples translates to 12 high-end materials at the end of the day, and that's where it stands right now. After the update, every high-end that drops is going to be worth one high-end material. So, they're not going to be able to be deconstructed into two anymore, but one is still sufficient enough. And this comes down to the fact that it's a 100% drop. Every high-end I kill, I know is dropping at least one of them, and you will kill five for every time you extract, which means three extractions is 15 high-ends minimum, and that's assuming you're not going to be picky. Like me, I don't really look for fabric anymore. I only pick up certain things, and I feel that a lot of people are going to completely ignore superiors because they do not give enough materials anymore, and they're only going to start extracting high-ends. But nonetheless, we'll use the 15 as an example. If we have 15 high-ends that break down to one high-end material each compared to the 12 that it currently sits at, that's still higher materials. Of course, the cost of crafting a high-end now goes from 8 to 10, so it kind of balances out. Not to mention, if I'm trying to be particular about my drops, I can get a full stash of high-ends and craft three items from that. So, the crafting is really not changing either, which is going to relieve some, and I guess that's fine as long as natural drops are in there, but I do believe they need to significantly reduce the rate. I'm thinking around 30-40%. If they really wanted to make it interesting, they can make so that the name guys have a 30-40% drop rate for high ends, and then make it so that elites have like a 2 or 3%, so that every once in a while, just killing a regular Joe can drop one too. So, they could definitely amp up the experience given and the rewarding feeling when some of these NPCs drop things. And this is obviously going to change certain things. More importantly, what it's going to do to the Dark Zone PvP experience. So, ask yourself this question. Put a number down. A day. How many days do you think it took you to get full high-end gear? Assuming you hit level 30 and started going in the Dark Zone or whatever it would say. I would think it took me about a week, maybe a week and a half until I had entire full high-end sets. I'm talking weapons and armor. Now, with this implemented, you are going to be able to get 15 to 30 high ends in about a half hour. Which means, even with RNG in play, you should have a full set of high end gear, weapons and armor and all, within a half hour of playtime in the dark zone. 
for new players, even if you just hit level 30. Which makes sense because things are going to evolve. Basically, high ends now are going to be treated a lot like superiors because set items are now the new high king item to achieve. You're no longer going to feel the sting of losing high ends when you're killed on the extraction point. That intensity is just plummeting because they're just going to be so easy to obtain, nobody's going to care. Oh look, I lost three high ends. Eh? It's just like you don't care if superiors die right now. What you're really going to care about are set items. So this is interesting to see how it's changing, how it's migrating to uh, a little bit more towards the casual players. I don't know how I feel about it because I feel like RPGs should be about time investment. It seems like it's happening a little too quick, but I don't know. So ultimately, I'm really stoked about these changes. More high ends is obviously a great thing. So I think with a little tweaking to the guaranteed drop rate, reducing it down significantly to like 30 or 40%, will allow this game to have more fun, more replayability, and will be more enjoyable when things drop and have a little bit more pressure on you to extract them when they do drop. Because if it's a guaranteed thing, people are going to get closer to high end to perfect gear and people are going to get burnt out on the game faster. So everybody that's like, no, I want this stuff to happen faster. I want to get the perfect build. And then when you're finally where you want to be, what's next? So this is going to extend the duration of the game, add to the replayability. So I feel like though they're making progress and I'm super hyped about high ends dropping like this, I think they need to look at it a little further. But these are my opinions. Leave yours down in the comment section below and I can't wait to get out there and start doing incursions and runs with you guys in the coming week. Take care guys.